Uh, hello mates, it's Light and Matt right here in, in I'm right in Idaho. I'm going to start the build on the uh, F-18 Hornet and uh, it's a beautiful airplane. I don't know why I'm talking with any kind of an accent because I don't have one. Anyway, hey guys, uh, Matt, uh, Motion RC customer service. I'm um, just starting the, uh, oh, the Hornet F-18E version 2 build. Um, you know, I choose to, uh, I got the kit uh, because I enjoy building. I think sitting down and uh, kind of, you know, spending an afternoon um, building things and doing it, I guess, how I want to do it. Um, you know, nothing wrong with the uh, products that Freewing uses to put into an airplane, um, but I have so many extras, you know, there's no sense in not using those things, um, so they're just not sitting around piling up my mess. Um, but yeah, I have to say this is a really nice uh, jet. Um, for now, I will be using the uh, uh, oh the version one fan um, until I get the upgraded one, which will be fine. Uh, anyway, uh, you know, it looks like a pretty simple build, so I'll kind of go through it and you know maybe post some steps if I see anything uh, that looks interesting. Um, I will post it uh, just for you out there that are going to be building one of these or if you decide to um, You know that I think uh, is good information um, Yeah, so anyway gonna get rocking and rolling on this thing. Um, I've got all my servos figured out uh, servos the way they operate uh, how you tell a reverse uh, and a normal essentially is when you have them plugged into a Y harness and you operate the channel either way this servo one will go this way and this servo will go this way so they both kind of go the opposite so that's how you tell this is the reverse servo and that would be a forward so uh, counterclockwise is a reverse clockwise is your positive so remember that positive and reverse servos uh, they list them in the instructions of where those are supposed to go um, so again if you have it on a Y harness and you operate the servos with your your throttle stick or not throttle stick but your you know see your aileron stick this one will turn this way that arm will go left this arm will go right so that's positive that's negative I hope that makes sense anyway um, I will uh, get rocking and rolling on this and uh, currently I'm going to be putting in the aileron uh, servos they mount into these uh, channels here let's get this thing up and over look at those cool retracts uh, metal trunnions uh, you know the jack screws and everything are good nice locking now they've got the suspension it's got the thrust vectoring uh, the aluminum uh, elevator bar goes through those are where the elevators are going to mount uh, the flaps and aileron um, you got lights they're already pre-installed in the kit and essentially the wiring is run through the jet, which is, which is really cool. Um, as you can see in there, you know, uh, nice uh, big ducts for, wind, for the air to flow through. Front closing door with the landing gear, front landing gear already installed. So kit, you know, I'm assuming probably take, you know, three or four hours. But like I said, it's therapeutic. I like to sit down and um, I like to build things my own way. Um, ARFs are nice because they're a little bit quicker to build, but, you know, uh, to each his own. Uh, we will talk to you guys later. Uh, remember, Go Motion RC. Uh, this is Matt uh, with customer service. Uh, some of you guys, I really appreciate you watch the videos and uh, say hello every now and then. Um, hope to hear from you again soon. Talk to you later. Bye.